welcome back to another video. Now this video right here is going to be a preview for something that I've been working on for quite a while now. Now uh, I posted a link to first couple of videos on my Patreon already so people can go ahead and start following this series. Well my Patreons can at least. Uh, I'm gonna be uploading these videos probably the idea was that it's gonna be like once a week I'm going to upload a video relating to this thing right here because I don't want to change my channel into just building videos alone. I have a couple of other videos that I want to post as well. Uh, so I'm gonna upload these once a week probably. Uh, maybe twice a week. It, it depends what I have in stock and how, how busy I am. But well there's gonna pretty much be just one video per, per week for this thing. So let's have a look real quick what we have over here. So we can build something. Uh, we have with the mouse wheel we can go ahead and select different buildables. We can create pre-built buildings as well if we want. Uh, I also received a couple of suggestions already which I'm going to implement. So adding more furniture, adding a widget which would allow us to select buildables because as of right now we can only use the mouse wheel to select different ones. And uh, let's see what else was there. Furniture. And also uh, an idea that uh, right now we are using these collision boxes. So as you can see it is free over here we have the free motion over here but over there as you can see it snaps to that location and wants me to build the build over there now i'm going to implement a feature which is going to allow us to basically have like this free free grid which is going to be throughout the whole world basically which is going to just snap uh with an offset to some kind of a coordinate so in this case maybe like 100 units so it's not going to be free it's going to snap 100 units uh, basically that's the idea uh, behind it so as you can see i have a bunch of resources that i need to use in order to finish these builds i can hit e key event and at the top right you can see the resources that are necessary and whenever i hit the e key it removes one of those resources so let's go ahead let's spam the e key really quickly so that we finish this off a lot faster also as you can see our doors and windows are interactable so we can go ahead open and close those if we want to like so let's add a ceiling on top of this whole thing so we got one ceiling over there another one over there finish it off there we go good now obviously this whole thing is replicated just like usually on my channel i tried to add multiplayer support to this one as well um and yeah as you can see this is replicated now let's let me show you some more cool features so we can place let's say this thing down and let's add a couple of resources to this so this one requires us to have four logs so i can add one two and you will see that now it requires us to have two more so let's close this off let's hit play again and you can see that i have these things in the world and this still requires two logs because we placed two in as you can see this whole thing is replicated now a couple of more cool features is that we can go ahead and destroy our buildable so i don't have any attack uh, thing in this project uh, this is my free inventory that i imported this whole thing into and if we try to uh, damage this build which i have the functionality for i just simply don't have the you should probably add this on an overlap or hit or whatever i just simply have a keyboard key too which allows me to destroy my buildables and as you noticed also the window collapsed as well and that is because well they have like this child parent relationship so uh, the child actors are also going to get destroyed. So you will see that now when I destroy this foundation, everything that stood on top of that foundation just got destroyed. So if we leave the game and go back inside of it, you will see that, well, there is no build over here anymore because we just already destroyed it. Now there's a couple of more features inside of this whole thing is so that we can go ahead and let's say we place this there. We don't like it there. Uh, let's remove it so we can hold keyboard key down. I set this up to keyboard key one. Boom, the build is gone. We can go ahead and remove this one as well. Now let's say we finish the build, but we don't necessarily like it there. Now obviously all of these features you can add or you can skip these, but I just added these because I thought those are cool. We can go ahead and hold a different key down, or you can actually set it up to the same key as well. I just used a different key. We can go ahead and move this to a different location. So we can move that wall from over there to over here. So 
uh, yeah, that's a functionality as well. So there's quite a lot of functionalities in here, quite a few videos about this whole thing. Now, through the first couple of videos, you might receive an error if you're following this series, uh, which you can just simply ignore. And the error is going to come from your mouse wheel event because I forgot to add checks whether we actually have the build mode or on, on, or on or off. So the first couple of videos might give you an error if you use the, your mouse wheel while you are not uh, while well, you don't have the build mode enabled. So that might give you an error in this location right here. Don't worry about it, just ignore it. Everything's gonna work just fine and it's going to get fixed along the tutorial series. And it's not even that deep into the series when we actually do go ahead and fix this. Now, if you do plan on following this series, I have a couple of small suggestions. I'm starting off this series on a brand new project, completely blank, blank project. There's nothing in it and we start this from scratch. We do the single player part first, up until we get to where we actually could implement uh, resource usage. Now, at that point, I made a video where I go ahead and migrate this project into a different project where I have the inventory, which for this one, I used my free inventory, which were developed throughout the, the live streams that I sometimes do. And I migrated, migrated that whole thing into that project. I strongly suggest that you start this series with a brand new project, just like I did, and then follow along with the steps that I took to migrate this whole thing into a different project for multiple reasons. First and foremost, you're gonna have your building system in a separate project that you can then go ahead and implement into any other project that you want. And it's going to be super simple and super quick and it, it, you're gonna have less problems with it. Another thing is, well, uh, it's just simply gonna be a lot easier in a blank project rather than trying to implement this straight inside of your game already. Uh, I know a lot of people just wanna go dive straight into it, add it to their own game, but it's usually a lot better if you do it in a separate project, experiment with this a little bit and then migrate that whole thing over to your project. And at that point, you have plenty enough of knowledge to know what you wanna modify in order to uh, make it exactly like you want. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think I mentioned everything. Assets should be down in the description box. Also in the first episode as well, there's going to be a link down to the assets as well. So you can go ahead and download those. Uh, all of those assets, unfortunately, are not going to be like FBX files. They're going to be U asset files. So you just got to go ahead and inside of your project, open your content and just hard copy paste all of those in your assets folder. Uh, I'm going to have probably this build folder. Uh, this is going to be the one. So you just copy it, it inside of the assets and it's going to work just fine. Now, one last thing that I forgot to mention is we have another cool functionality is that, for example, if we place a build up here, so it's an elevated space, it is going to create these extensions for us. So that's a really cool feature. And then we can go ahead and expand this, as you can see, until uh, I wish I could go there. I wish I could go there. The thing is that it's not going to allow us to place another build over there. So you will see it's red. And that is because, well, uh, the system that I created requires you to have something beneath it. So at, at one point, I'm going to show you where we can set up a height limit so we don't have these floating bases and also so that we don't have these unlimited length uh, extensions for our foundation. Other than that, I think I covered pretty much all the functionalities. I think, I hope, maybe not, who knows, but I covered the majority and the most important ones. So uh, that's going to be it for today. So no tutorial today, but I'm going to upload, well, I'm going to publish the first episode of this series tomorrow. So that's going to be another extra episode because, well, today's video isn't really that great. It's just a preview video. Uh, other than that, yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you will find these uh, tutorials useful and I hope to see you tomorrow in the first episode.